Did some guy give this to you? No, he I did? gave this to my mom. Oh, really? <laughs> I just love you. What? I love you. <laughs> you look so wonderful. <laughs> yes, my name is Anthony. Hi, Patrick. Going from being in your head to being in the moment just takes a shift in focus. This is the moment right now where it is most critical for you to catch yourself being in your head. Because when I just noticed her, because I'm playing out what you would do, immediately you go into your head. And going into your head takes you away from the experience of being with her. Not just the experience of being with her when you walk up physically, but energetically being with the woman. It's in that exact moment when I see her and my mind starts to race, that it's the most important for me to return back to the moment. And that returning back is simply this, and I'm gonna give you something, I'm gonna give something away to you right now. Taking your hand and putting it on your stomach. This being what's going to let you know to return back to the moment. Put it just on your stomach. When you feel yourself going into your head, because your attention will not stay here in your mind where everything's racing, it will come back here. Did some guy give this to you? No, he I did? gave this to my mom. Oh, really? <laughs> I just love you. What? I love you. <laughs> you look so wonderful. <laughs> yes, my name is Anthony. Hi, Patrick. Uh, are you in a rush to get somewhere? What? Are you in a rush to get somewhere? I don't understand I have bad English, sorry. Are you in a rush to get somewhere? <laughs> Do you have to go somewhere, like right now? <laughs> yes, I want to go to, go to home. So you can give this, this to your mom? Yes, yes. And after I will uh, go to a party with my friends mm. tonight. What? And I am Perry. Yes, what is today? Why do people give uh, flowers today? You don't know? Is it, is it Woman's Day? Yes. I thought Woman's Day was yesterday. No. <laughs> oh, because people were giving flowers yesterday as well. I don't have a flower to give you. Okay, I want to take you for a coffee. I do. I don't know who you are, but let's go for a coffee, okay? No, now. No, not right now, because you're in a rush. Yes. Yes. Because <laughs> you're like, now I can't do it. No, okay. What is your name? Batis. Batis. Batis? Yes. Yes, my name is Anthony. Anthony. Yes. Okay. You don't, you have a very interesting face. You don't look Hungarian. Do you know no, that? No, no, I am from Ukraine. Ukraine? Ukraine, uh huh. Ah. I am from Ukraine. You and your mom must have a good relationship. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a Hungarian number? I have. Yeah? What is it? Do you know it? Uh -huh. It's interactions like that that makes being in this so enjoyable. If you saw what happened on the way to go into her, you would have probably giggled a bit because I was going after someone else and then I saw her. And because I'm so with my desire, because I'm so with the fact that I want to go talk to her, I let that lead me. To the point where I told my camera guy, nope, I want her. And I ran up, and the way I stopped her, if you notice, was very, very just, boom. This feeling of just, I have something to say. That's the beauty of being in this. That's the beauty of being a man who can go, I want that woman because she looks like this. And I'm going to go tell her. I mean, I told her I love her, and she knew it was playful. But it was just a part of me that was expressing itself. 
I wasn't in my mind trying to figure out what is the safe thing to do in the moment. I was charged and I walked up to her. This is what brings me to this point that's going to let you know why your mind races so much. It's because your mind feels like safety. To be in the safety net of your mind, for you, means that you don't have to risk being unsafe. It's not just right now that you feel this. It's through being brought up and your parents constantly telling you, constantly trying to make sure that safety is the number one priority when it comes to interacting with the world. We didn't get taught to be unsafe. We never got taught to be that. This is why you notice in situations where maybe you had to do a talk, you had to do a presentation at school, you had to talk in front of the class in some way, it felt very, very awkward and weird and, and like your body would react in certain ways. It's because you've been taught safety. All your parents really know is the mind as well. So they're going to transfer that to you. And then you're trying to figure out, you know, why is it that I want to speak to this woman? But I feel like I'm, my mind is racing. I feel like I'm up in my head. <clears throat> you were taught to be up in your head. Because when you were living out something coming through your life, when you were younger, something felt very freeing and like it wanted to be expressed. Something felt like that. It definitely did. But you've been taught safety so much, it's been transferred so much to you by your parents that you start to go, well, should I do this? Should I express this? I mean, my mom told me I shouldn't do this. And you're obeying your mom by not doing it. You felt yourself like you were good for doing it, that you were right, that you know what? I'm not making my mom mad or my dad mad because they told me to do something, they taught me something, and I'm obeying that. And you felt like a good son, a good daughter, or a good son, sorry. <laughs> but you're trying to figure out why is it that my mind races? But at the same time, you love to obey. You love to obey your mind. You love to obey what it means to be the good son, the good person. Because this is also what's at risk in the moment. What's at risk is you won't be the good person anymore. You may go up, you may bother her, interrupt her, make her feel weird, uncomfortable, and you won't be the good person, good son, that you were obeying through your whole life. You may say this sounds like it's too deep or it's too much. No, it's not. If you truly want to know why you are always in your mind, it's because it's safe for you. You have been taught safety. It is unsafe to go do it because it goes against what you've learned through your whole life. You've learned that this is not something I should do because I am going against what I've been taught. You've been taught that you should not go talk to strangers. That if you don't know them, just keep walking or take someone with you everywhere you go. You've been taught all these things that you need people there. And in life, what manifests through that is questioning, a constant questioning yourself. 
You feel like you want to go speak to her, but then you question it. Is this the right time? Mm, will I be weird? Will she think I'm this? And some of those, because you question it so much, you just go, it's just that I'm not worthy of her. That's what it is. You question yourself so much into unworthiness. Because remember, before you questioned yourself, you were worthy. But the questioning comes from the, the battle between the mind and being here and what you truly want. That's the battle. That's the thing that makes you question. The mind is so safe. It really is. It feels very, very safe. It feels like you don't have to do anything. That if I stay here, I'm okay. If I go there, I won't be okay. And for you, it just simply needs to come to, what do I want to focus on? Do I want to focus on being safe in my life? Do I want to focus on being safe when I see a woman? Do I want safety to be the priority? Because unconsciously, it will be the priority. It will. Unconsciously, it will be. Because it's what you've been taught. It will be unconscious to you now. Because anything you get taught over and over and over and you repetitively do it, it becomes unconscious. This is the shift. Do I want safety right now? Do I want it? Because if you want safety, then you're gonna have what everybody else has. The life they have, the fears they have, the pains they have, etc., etc., etc. So, what can you do? You can make the priority. When you feel yourself going to your mind, being away from it. And I can't say right now, being in your heart, because you don't know what that truly means. Because that's being away from the mind, is being in the heart. But what I can say that's going to give you the easiest transition is being away from the mind. One of the questions that a guy has is, why am I always in my head? This is one of the strongest feelings this, of frustration. It's just, why am I always in my head? I overthink this. I just want to go do it. Like, I'm just thinking about this and thinking about this and thinking about this, and I don't want to. Why am I always in my head? I'm just always thinking about this thing. I want to go do it, but then my mind starts racing, and I start thinking about what if it goes bad. The only way to do this is what I taught you earlier, is to move away from the mind. This is the only way to get out of the mind, is to move away from it. It's to not encounter, acquire a new mindset. This is not the way to handle this in the moment because a lot of coaches out there teach silly things like a mindset, like it's going to help the guy in a situation where he's freaking out. That's not going to be the most helpful thing. Some people are like, okay, you know what? If you're feeling this moment like I'm scared, it's just, oh, this is my only time to live in life. And if I don't do this right now, I know I'll never have the life that I want. That isn't strong enough in the moment when his, when your total feeling in the moment is I don't want to do this because I'm scared it's something bad is going to happen. That is not strong enough. It's not sustainable. Maybe you can go with it this time or that time, but it's not sustainable. It's not. What is sustainable is moving away from the mind because that is the only way for you to see the truth of the moment. And away from the mind simply means taking your attention someone, somewhere else because unconsciously it would move up like this. It will just move up here. And as it moves up, your 
mind starts racing and you're thinking about this and you're thinking about this and all of your attention is here. That's why I said if you take your hand in that moment when you feel that it's going there and you just put it here, you move the attention away from thinking and into your body. You move it away from thinking. Because in the place of thinking, you won't do anything. You will carry out whatever it is that you've always carried out. The courage that it takes to do this in the moment when you see the girl, it takes so much courage because even in that moment, you're saying to yourself, I'm willing to be different. And this is very hard for men. This is very hard because you shift away from who you've always been to who you actually want to be. And that means that you have to risk what you've built. You have to risk what feels like the safety. Even the action of taking your hand and doing like this feels very uncomfortable and it feels foreign to you. And it will actually sometimes feel silly and stupid. But what other choice do you have? What other choice do you have? Try to go to another part of your mind that feels like it's a little bit more positive. Keep thinking about what you don't want to think about in the moment. What other choice do you have? Going out there in the streets, <clears throat> I remember my mind racing. And many of the times it was, how am I going to get this girl? And I'm not even as developed as I want to be right now. Because it would mainly race when I would see a woman that I really, really want. I mean, a girl who I look at physically and go, I really want a woman like that. With those women, I used to feel like, man, okay, okay, it's okay. It's, what if I go in like this and then, I try to be myself, but then she think it's weird. And what if she has someone and then he comes up and he, uh, gets mad at me and, and, and he tries to hurt me and all these things used to go to my head like what if me going up in his way is actually really creepy because the community is teaching me different ways what is if I go up like this and it's actually creepy and all this will be happening in this one moment when I see her it wasn't ever just there she is wanted to go speak, it was never that. It was, there she is, my mind starts racing, filling up with all kind of thoughts. My heart started racing as well. Then I would feel this tightness in my stomach. And sometimes I would, I would just, just turn away like I'm not, it's just so intense. <clears throat> But then I started to notice through learning meditation that there's something different I can do in the moment. That I don't have to let my mind race. I don't have to do this. Because I always thought like, you know what? <sighs> if somebody put a gun to my hair right now, will I do this? Like these things I was learning in the community. I, and I was continuously saying these things and it felt weird to me. I just wanted to do something in a way where I can move away from my mind because my mind was just so against me it felt it felt like it was actually against me i'm like i thought it's supposed to be with me but it felt it was actually against me then i went okay i'm gonna walk on the street and i'm going to when i feel myself getting nervous like that i'm just gonna breathe so i would see someone and then i would just go And this started to help. 
But something I started to notice that that was only controlling the moment. But I would go all the way there and then maybe in the moment it will, it will come to going for the number. Then I will feel that feeling come back. Then I will try to control the feeling again. And this only helped short term. Because I was like, man, I'm actually doing it. This, I'm not you know, being so nervous, I'm able to go up. That only helped short term. But I give you something that's even greater that I learned. I learned that I'm not going to try to control the feeling. I'm going to flow with the feeling. I'm going to breathe with it. Right now, I feel my heart thumping really hard. I'm just going to feel my heart thumping really hard and I'm going to continue going to her. I'm going to be aware of my thumping heart. I start to move my attention to different places. I start to naturally move with these things, flow with it naturally. And I noticed I was able to still stay with the woman. It was the only sustaining thing. It was the thing that actually let me know that, yes, I'm nervous to walk up to this woman. I am right now because I'm simply not used to doing this. That is it. It's not because I'm unworthy of her. It's not because I think that I'm creepy. It's not because I think she'll get creeped out. It is simply because I am not used to this. I'm not. I'm not used to going up to a girl who before I felt like I was so scared to go to. I'm not used to doing that. I'm not used to just expressing myself and having the girl not like it. I'm not used to that. That's what I'm getting used to. So your mind is racing because it's letting you know that you're getting used to something else. That you need to get used to something else. When you move away from the mind, when you move totally away from it, what you start to notice is something else happens. It's no longer just, am I like this? Am I going to be worthy? None of these things come up. You just feel what's happening. But you notice that this is not a stoppage. This is not a block. This is actually not a block. I just felt it was a block. And this is what I started to feel, that it was never a block. These things, I'm not good enough, was actually never a block. It was just because my mind was a safe place and it was the thing that kept me safe from doing the thing that I want to do. I've been taught that there's things that I want to do, but it's not safe to do it. I've been taught that since I was young. But I can do something different right now. That's what that taught me. Moving away from the mind, that's what it taught me. That I can express myself and do something different and it can be safe. That's what you're really looking for. Safety outside of the mind. And I'm letting you know that it's safe. It is. But it takes courage to find that it's safe. It took me a very long time. It did. But when I moved away from the mind, I started to see the new world. I started to see that people are actually here. That this is actually happening. That I want to meet her that she's feeling like this. I started to see things. The awareness started to become different. I started to notice things. That she's walking like this because she's in her own world. I started to notice that she's walking like this because she's more of a particular person. These are the things that started to happen. I wasn't in my mind trying to figure out anymore. Life started to reveal itself to me. In the same way that it can reveal itself to you. Yes, it takes courage though. I'm going to tell you this and you're probably going to see the next woman and not do it. That is fine. But as long as you start taking small steps away from getting from the mind, like getting from the mind, taking a small step, even taking your hand like I taught you and putting it here and breathing into your hand to tell yourself to keep your attention here so you don't return back to what you feel is safe what you've always returned back to. 
as long as you can do that, take small steps, you start to see over time that it starts to lose its grip on you. That when you go wanting to speak to a woman, it feels a bit easier internally. And this may even take you to wanting to go get coaching or wanting to go to a seminar so you can really find out what, how to do this. And that's why I offer coaching. I do. Because I know that guys are just not going to do it right after the first video. You probably won't do it right after this video. And if you do, I admend you for your courage. I really do. But it will take time to loosen up on your mind for you to be able to even be courageous enough to go get coaching. There's a new place outside the mind. And I challenge you to be here with me because I'm a person who doesn't live in the mind. This is why I tell guys in my seminars that, man, if you are a person who lives in the mind, you're going to find my seminars very hard to come to. You are. Because I, I, I'm in so much silence in my seminar at times that the only thing you can do is, is relate to me and connect to me through silence. It's the only thing you can do. I challenge you to be here in this world. You can be safe outside of the mind. How do you know? I'm an example. I hope you found this video to be very, very insightful for you. Let this give you some sort of leverage to find out more about yourself outside of your mind. My Berlin seminar is coming up and I still have some spots left. Luckily I do. I still have some spots left. If you feel like you want to get this handled, you want to know more about this and the other things I talk about, you can go below in the description box and click the link that's right underneath Berlin seminar tickets. It'll give you the chance to know all about what to expect. And also I'm offering one-on-one -on -one coaching while I'm there. If you feel like you are in the Berlin area and the Netherlands as well, this is the chance for you to get one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. Uh, the next time I'll be offering will be, much, will be later in the year. So this is the only time I'm coming to Berlin and offering it while I'm there. In the meantime, what I would like for you to do is to get my free Meet to Bedroom series. This is the thing that's going to take you from not knowing what to do to being able to know how do I take her upstairs. I don't talk about texting in there because I chose not to because you would just have to come see me for me to do that or go to one of my texting videos that I have, but you will at least know how to go from approach to the bedroom. It's also in the description box below Berlin Seminar Tickets. It's there for you. Subscribe because this is the way you're going to be able to follow me. Share this with anyone who you think needs to hear this. And like I always say, who you are is valuable for that which you want in life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it. I'll talk to you tomorrow.